Hi everyone. Um, this is my bonus lesson. I'm uh, doing something like Brandy's lesson. Um, the supplies I'm going to be using, I'm actually using this Arches um, hot pressed watercolor paper. I can't remember if I used this or the Strathmore uh, watercolor paper. This one has a texture on it and it's cold pressed. This one is uh, smooth. Oh, it's not in there. <laughs> um, it's smooth and it's hot pressed so it doesn't have all the texture on it. It doesn't really matter which one you use. Um, I'm doing a lot of little details. I videoed this already. Um, it's going to have all these little details so it is kind of nice to have this move but you don't have to. So that's it for the paper. I was going to do chalk pastels and I decided not to. It was turning out just... it was going to be a pain maybe for you if you're not used to them. They're a little messy and I thought I'd make it easy and we're, I'm just going to use the cheap watercolor set that I used in my other video that I showed you. Um, I am probably also going to be using uh, my Sharpie pens, the paint pens. They are the extra fine water-based in black and white. Zoom that in a little bit. I also used for the drawing, um, I think I used the one, the uh, Micron number one pen. And I also used my Graph Gear 500.7 mechanical pencil. You can use whatever pencil you want, but this is just my pencil of choice. I just like the heaviness of the the pencil, not the pencil lead, the the uh, case it's in. Also, I used my Tombow mono erasers in the. Um, skinny tip and the rectangular tip and what else I also had a larger well, a white eraser for erasing big things I'm not sure which yet but I'll probably using be using the 4 and the 2 for watercoloring they're fairly small tips and I think that is it. Oh, I did use a plate. Just a plate for doing my hills here. You don't have to do that. You can just freehand them or you can find a plate or something round. Um, and then I think that's it. If there's any more, I'll let you know in the video and it'll be on a supply list. For the drawing, I've decided to get a plate and make some hills. I'm just going to put that up uh, close to the close to the end there, and I'm just going to trace around the plate. Put a little little hill here. Oops, and maybe a little heel, hill, not heel, <laughs> hill here. Okay. Oh, my plate was dirty. Oh, now I'm smearing it. Okay. Alright, make sure my hands are clean. So, let's see. I'm going to draw the girl. And we'll start her head maybe here. I'm going to draw uh, sort of an oval or egg shape. I'm going to come down to her neck. Maybe give her a little skinnier neck. Come out for the shoulders and out for the shoulders and come down and 
and I'm going to curve it at the bottom. And then I'm going to make a little uh, like a jumper. Come up and around. And come down in here and down in here and then her little arms will be here and we'll make it taper there come down taper there and then we'll make a little hand there come down and then kind of square it down like that. Okay, and then maybe we'll give her some feet. Come out that way. Give her a little, another foot. Oh, that one's a little pointier. Alright, so I'm going to take my eraser and erase. I'll blow up a little more. Erase some of these. Whoops, not that one. Some of these lines. And her arms seem uh, really long. <laughs> um, well, that's okay. I'm just going to leave it. Alright, I don't do a lot of bodies. I do mostly heads. So this is a little different. Okay, so let's work on the face. And we'll put a line down the center. And I'm doing the face really lightly so we don't get all the pencil marks in there. We'll put a line down the center and across the center and we'll give her a little lid. And then add her little eyeball. Come down down and then we'll come down about halfway and I'll put in her nose and it's a little triangle just like on the other one and then for her mouth is about halfway and we'll do the triangle again and come down a little wider than the nose. And we'll put in her bottom lip and then we're going to we'll add some eyebrows. Okay, so I'm going to shape her face. I'm going to uh, come in a little bit, come down and around. And we'll come in a little bit and down around. And it's okay to uh, make a bunch of lines because we can erase where we don't want what we don't want to see. Okay. So we will take our eraser and sort of shape her face. Another reason I really like this eraser. You can get good detail with it. Okay. Get rid of those lines. That one, that one. She's got a very skinny neck. Okay. So, hair. I thought it would be kind of cute to give her um, pigtails. So, let's see, start, like that, come down this side, 
never get my both sides so super even, but that's okay. All right, and then we'll come down like that, and down like that. And then we'll give her her the rest of her pigtail. like that and they're a little different uh, maybe I want them to go up a little more let's try that again or maybe we'll do a little shorter ones even uh, let's see so we'll come up pretty much the same. Okay, anyway. So there's some pigtails. I'll erase her head right there. Alright. So next I thought it would be cute to give her some balloons um, like uh, Brandy did but I thought I would give her sun uh, sun and moon balloons so that's why I had the circle template thought I could do oh, can you see that there we go Let's zoom out so you can see where I'm doing this Uh, maybe I want to go this way. Um, maybe I'll do do the sun at the top. I'm just going to trace this lightly, and then we'll do the moon right here. Okay, and then we'll just need, uh, let's see, we'll put the little balloon thingies right here, and a little string, and we'll come down to her hand. Like that. Okay, so next I think I'll add some houses and they're just going to be simple houses. Let me turn that. I'm just going to make some Tall one, a little bit shorter one, and a little bit shorter one. And I'll adjust those when I trace over them. Add a little window. Oh, can you see that? Sorry. Okay, then I'll add a couple more down here. The window, a little bit shorter one here. Okay, so I'll make those look a little neater when I trace them with the pen. Okay. Okay, so next uh, I think I'll add some flowers. 
And these are going to be simple, easy flowers. You're just going to make easy ones. None of the pet the petals will be the same. Oh, you know I forgot to do the sun and moon face. Let's do that. Okay. So for those, I usually make a little bit of a um, wider face. So let's see. Um, you could still do the line across. I kind of want that one tilted that way. And maybe... No, that one's fine. Okay. So I'm going to do a little bit wider eyes and a wider nose, so I'm making sort of a wide V. Okay. And you could have it turn it up a little bit if you want him to be more smiling. Okay, and so then the moon. That uh, line's a little off. Okay, so make our two two lids and our eye. And our nose. Actually, you know, maybe I'd like this one to have closed eyes. So what I would do is I come down and then curve around like that. Come down and curve around like that. And give it eyebrows. Now you could keep them open if you want. Either way is good. And I'm going to make a line that comes around. A line that comes around. Okay. Um, maybe I'll give her some pupils. And I only come around from one side and come around like there's a dot in her eye. Okay. So, next, I'm going to take my, let's see, my number one micron, whoop, I better zoom back out so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to take my number one micron pen, I'm going to start going around all the lines and cleaning it up. Alright, so I'm going to take my stencil and go back over these so that they're straight. 
I think I'll move his down a teensy bit. All right. Okay, and then this one, and I'm going to move that one down a teeny bit. So I think their their faces were too down down too low on the balloon, so I'm just going to move it down a tiny bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add the little thing here for the balloon and the little ribbon and a little thing here and the ribbon. Okay, so the rest of this I'm just going to clean up and go over with my pen. I'm going to fast forward through that and I'll stop if I need to explain anything. extra swirls and waves in there. It's a little plain. And we'll add a little to her bangs. Make sure you're taking your time when you're tracing your lines also and when you're adding lines that way you don't mess up because it's hard to uh, correct your pen mistakes. Uh, you could use white out but it, I mean you'll see that so just uh, take it slow you're not in a hurry or maybe you are but <laughs> you should take take your time when you're tracing your lines. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, yep, so good. I'll go uh, scan this, and then I'll see you in the next video.